So I do see energy of being very satisfied with this Nine of Cups. I feel like you did get a new start with this Fool card energy. And this is after you had to leave something toxic behind. With this Devil energy, this could have been a friendship, relationship, a job, something that you felt like you were stuck to. And I feel like in this situation that you did leave behind, I feel like it was a lot of secrets that were hidden from you, a lot of illusions surrounding this situation. And you just walked away with this Eight of Cups. You left all of this behind. You could have invested eight months in this situation, eight years in this situation, eight weeks. It didn't matter. You saw it for what it was and you turned your back to a new beginning. And I feel like you're very satisfied with what you did. Let's see what else is going on. What's this Devil and Moon card? What was hidden in this situation? Yeah, it was giving you an anxiety here. Look at this, Nine of Swords. It was giving you anxiety, sleepless nights. With this King of Swords here, I feel like you weren't getting a lot of clarity in this situation. And that's why you were having sleepless nights and anxiety about it. But I feel like now, you could be a Libra, Aquarius, or a Gemini, but a lot of mental energy, a lot of stressing over a situation. Let's see what else we have. Yeah, look at this. We have the Eight of Swords at the bottom, feeling mentally trapped in a situation, feeling stuck. You know, you finally got out of that. What is this new beginning in this Nine of Cups? What is this food card in Nine of Cups for the collector? What is this new beginning? Yeah, look at this. With this temperance energy, I feel like something is balancing out for you. You have more peace, more harmony in your life. You know, look at this. This was a situation that had you feeling stuck. It could have been financially, you know, you could have lost money, you could have lost a home. Just really feeling left out in the cold when it came to this situation that you were dealing with. Feeling like you weren't receiving enough. Big lack. Big lack energy in this other situation. What's this temperance energy? What's this temperance? So you, now your money could be balancing out. You know, your emotional health is getting better. Your mental health is getting better now that you're gone. Yeah, very deceptive with the Seven of Swords. Somebody was trying to get away with something. Somebody was being very sneaky and trying to keep you in some kind of trap. We do have the Queen of Swords at the bottom. Could be a Libra, Aquarius, or a Gemini. Could have been two air signs together. Could have been a legal situation, you know. Let's see what else. So you really felt really stuck in this situation. What's this temperance energy? Okay, we do have the Page of Wands. Like I said, you're going to something that's going to be better news for you. Like I said, this Nine of Cups, you are getting your wishes fulfilled. You are feeling very satisfied. Look, you're going to be working with other people. With this Three of Pentacles, it's going to be good news for you to branch out and work with other people that really want to collaborate with you, that want to be around you, that want to work with you. Let's see, what's this Page of Wands? One more, please. Page of Wands, this is good news. Communication coming in, very good. Look, could be a new love coming in with this Ace of Cups. You know, are just an overwhelming uh, support that's coming in for you. You know, just a lot of love and support that's coming in for you. If you own your own business, you could be getting people from all over, you know, patronizing your business. Look at this, the four of pentacles here. You know, maybe somebody wanted to hold on to you for money or maybe you want to hold on to the situation for money. Maybe the money was good, you know, but it just wasn't good for your mental health or something like that. But like I said, lots of energy of moving on and getting some good news on something else.